I've been uh, out here on the department with Fort Worth Police for starting my third year now, and I've been working uh, out here in NPD2 in Baker District up in North Division, and uh, I really enjoy it. It's uh, primarily Hispanic area. This is like our, what you'd probably refer to as a barrio. And uh, about the biggest problem I run into up here is communicating with the people at times. Uh, my Spanish is very limited, and a lot of them, they speak only Spanish, but they're really good people up here. Being a police officer, uh, you meet a lot of wonderful people, and you actually get the personal rewards of helping a lot of people. That really feels good. It makes it worthwhile. Baker 14. Baker 14, copy 28 at angle. Yeah, there's a stolen vehicle occupied. We've got an officer out with them. They're right down the street here, about two Air blocks. One, Air one, copy, 28th and angle. 28th and angle, occupied signal 60. They wrecked out. Medic 17, Roger. Thank you, Ash, 54. Say again on the uh, 20 minute ETA. Roger, thank you. Is there any more? Where's the other guy? Where's the other guy? Huh? Tell, open the channel. Tell him. You got a description? Who's your friend? Go ahead and stick them. No, I can't okay. put them in mine. Go. What's that? Uh, Hispanic male, orange shirt, black Tommy pants, uh, active bald, short guy. Which way did he head? I haven't seen. I didn't see him come out of the car. I just saw this guy. He flipped over. He blew over that curb over there. Fire thirteen out. Stand by. We'll let you know. Make a thirteen out. Get a get a description put out over the air. Let's make sure we ain't got somebody ejected or something under the car or something. Down here. He's not moving. He's not moving? No. Baker 214, start med star. Yeah, he's not moving. Yeah, we need FD and med star. We've got one suspect not moving. So you got a pulse? Yeah, he's breathing. Hey! Sternum rub. Wake up! Get up! Let's go! Baker 214, I got him up. Are you breathing, dude? Yeah, he's breathing. Speak English? Had to do a sternum rub on him. Well, I came up Lincoln. As soon as I whipped around that corner, I saw him turn around and refuse you. Hey! He's supposed to be the one that stole that Mustang last week. Roll him over on his back. Yeah. Hey, you speak English? No. Huh? No. No? Como se llama? Are you hurting? You need to talk to me and let me know if you're hurting. Necesito paramedicos? Yeah, he's been huffing. Yeah. Well, let's get him up. Levante. Hey, como se llama? Como se llama? Hey. Necesito paramédicos? Robert, he's not cooperating. Hey. Hey, Coco. Does he speak English? Come talk to him. I'll deal with him. You, and you got the sheet, right? 
This is Sheet Officer. No injuries, they're just gone. Once the initial suspect was taken into custody, uh, Officer Flores, who was the who was following them, had said that there was another suspect. Uh, we uh, started looking. And uh, so we started looking around the area, seeing if somebody had gotten ejected or not. And uh, he was located there inside the bushes right there, uh, laying there. He appeared to be unresponsive. Uh, Officer he's Flores. Like a fetal, he's balled in like a fetal position. I looked closer. He could tell he was breathing and stuff. He had his eyes open. So he was just looking up in the air. And uh, as soon as we started moving him around, he could tell, you know, he was just trying to play there. So. I, I guess, reached. I guess he, didn't come out. he didn't. He didn't want to come up. I, and I reached down and. I used to seeing act that yeah. way. <laughs> well, I did a sternum rub on him, and uh, it kind of got a. It got a response out of him at that point. Yeah, good deal. Good out deal. Out of there. You guys did a good job. This is a good call. You hear my last name is Poplowski, but people look you know, look at me and well, how'd you get that last name? Well, you know, born in Panama. My dad's got a Polish heritage. My mom's a Hispanic Panamanian, and uh, it really helps understanding. I understanding and. Uh, Ma'am, did you call? Yeah. What's uh, going on? My uh, daughter's boyfriend. He's in a white shirt down there. He's knocked the mailboxes down over there. Okay, what is everything on you at all? No, I don't. Put, turn, around for me. Just turn around for me. Turn around for me. Turn around for me. What's the problem? What's the problem? Uh, I got people okay, man, get up, get up. Okay, just relax. Who's trying to start the soul name to kill my girlfriend, man? I don't have one. Can you do it here? I wanted to go somewhere, but she's being a bitch. Do you uh, damage any property or anything like that? I broke a mailbox, man. That's Okay. So my mom went and took in front of him, and we they him and the person that lives behind us. Just he just came out and was to start chasing after he was off his property. Okay, so when was the first time your stepdad chased him off the property? How long ago was that? About a week ago. Okay, so your boyfriend came back today? We came back. Give me a call on your primary 5574. Uh, we're going to go back to the... ...if the uh, um, people that live there want to do anything further, filing charges or anything like that. How are you doing? Not too bad. Um, can you... That's no problem. Can you explain to us, sir, what happened between you and the uh, guy back here? I just got stupid with my wife, charged her, and... Uh... Well, him and my daughter had gotten into trying to get him to calm down because he was getting really mouthy with my daughter and stuff. And then he started going out the street. He started calling my daughter names, me names. And then I'm trying to talk with him. He's the street. My oh, it's, is it your mailbox? No, it's not our mailbox. But the other night, he... he what, had, mil what mailbox are we talking about? Okay. See, there's one, two, oh, three. He's got a real bad anger thing, and I'm afraid he's going to hurt my daughter. Oh, they said that uh, he was he was out of control. He knocked the mailbox off the... Uh, yeah. Um, acting real crazy with his girlfriend uh, when they were out here, so... Which... Expects that. Uh, from all the witnesses' account, uh, he was obviously intoxicated. Um, most likely, we're going to arrest him for at least public intoxication. Man, what is he doing? Back. We tell you to sit here calmly, you don't do it now, right? All right. Well, now you can go to the jail for public intoxication. Okay? We told you to sit in real banging your head or anything like that, okay? We're gonna get you to the station. We're gonna book you and process you. Hold okay. On, watch your head. Watch your yeah. head. There you go. All right, John, this should be it, all right? No, no more. We're not charging him with the criminal mischief, the damage to the mailboxes, okay? But uh, he is being charged with uh, public intoxication. It's only a simple misdemeanor. He'll be out in the morning if you can't bond him out tonight, okay? All right. I got three kids at home. Kids. And, uh, kind of build off that to, you know, I know I want to. Fox Get on the ground! 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 Get back! Get back! Get back! Get back! Get back! Get your hands behind your back. Hey, 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 hey
Back up, okay? Oh, back up, you back up. I didn't do nothing. Stand up. Stand up. Okay, I'm trying to. Come here. Five, sixteen hundred. Hey. You score anybody else, man? Stay right here, man. Lean over. Sixteen hundred south, but everything's okay. I got him in custody. He ran the stop sign, ma'am, and then he wouldn't stop for me. When? Just a minute ago. Yes, ma'am. If y'all go over there, I'll explain it to you just a minute, okay? Can I go call his dad? Hang on. That's fine. Go ahead. Well, that's what happens whenever you don't do what you're told. Spread your legs for me. Okay, have a seat right here. On the ground. Sit down. Okay, sit. sit down for me. Right on your butt. There you go. Stay right there. Do something. Somewhere over here. That's what I'm trying to find. He threw something there, he got out of the car. Oh, that was money. Oh, he threw something else in there, he's right here, and then he threw the money never he's in here. They probably picked it up as soon as he threw it. Let me look through his car here. Woo! Let's see what that is over there. Shotgun here, just laying in the seat. I was just laying in the floorboard. Yeah, he's on the one car. Is this his? We just got that out of his car, man. Yeah, he didn't have nothing on it. Ethel, will you please come over here? I guess that's why he didn't want to stop. Or what? Yeah, he threw something, but they picked it up as soon as he threw it down. You're in the tank, yeah. so, no, no. What's up, man? Do what? I listen to the date you tied on my own, man. Why didn't you stop for me? Because I already, I heard, man, the police, man, back in the day, about, five, about six years ago, man, the police killed my uncle, man. I don't, man, I don't. You didn't stop because the police killed your nah, uncle? No, I rather, I, I was going to stop, but I rather to be in front of what I know people in. Okay. Is that your shotgun laying in the front seat? Yeah. Why are you riding around with a shotgun? Because this, man, this Highland Park, man, I'm riding around here. I ain't riding around with no shotgun. I'm just riding around to get over here. To, I'm going to keep my shotgun in the clouds in here. You live here at this house? Yeah, I stay with my girl over here. You got any ID on you? I got my license. Or, which pocket they in? I ain't got them in my pocket. They over here somewhere. Larry! Along with all that stuff you threw out of your pocket. Which one of them's got your license? Larry! This Lori here? Yeah, that's my girl. All right, watch your head. His daughter, or stepdaughter, has the money. She said that's all he had was the money, so she picked it up. There's no telling what else she picked up. Yeah. 
He threw twice. He threw, you know, he first got out of the car and then he walked up there and never I was wrestling. He said, throw a whole bunch of other stuff out. Was that shotgun loaded? Yeah, shotguns loaded. Had laying, one in the round chamber? Yeah, laying in the front seat. So he said he was scared to ride around Highland Park with a, yeah. without protection. So he's going to go to jail for it tonight. Okay, we'll still send a code three.